Energy makes things happen. We all need energy to do work. Your body uses energy all the time. Whether you're running around, playing, or even sleeping, you are using energy. Energy is actually the ability to do work. The energy that something has determines how much movement it can give to other matter. When someone uses only a little bit of effort to throw a ball, the ball does not have much movement. But if they throw the ball hard, the ball has a greater amount of movement. The more energy that something has, the more work it can actually do. Come on kids, let's get the rest of this stuff unloaded. Let's put the mini fridge over there. Man, this fridge is so heavy, I can't even move it. Sure takes a lot of work to try to move it. Let me see if I can help you with this. You know, because you can't move the fridge, you're not really working. Just trying to move things from one place to another takes energy. But if you don't move the object, you're technically not really working, even if you are using energy. Yes, I am. I'm working really hard to try to move this fridge. Yes, but work is done when a force makes an object move. You need three things to do work. You need a force, you need an object, and that object needs to move. For instance, when I pick this up and put it on the table, I am doing work because I am the force that moves this to the table. I get it. So you are the force that moves the can to the table. That's right. Okay, kids. I'm trying to move this table to make a space for our tent. And it sure feels like I'm working hard. But am I really working? Well, let's see. You're using force to lift the table, which is the object. But the table isn't going anywhere. It doesn't have movement. So I guess even though it's a big job, you really aren't doing work? It sure feels like I'm working. Yes, but you're missing one of the three things that define work. So, in order to have work, you guys have to give me a hand so we can make the table move. <laughs>